I want to say, um, I'm starting to love. I mean, for one, it's like y'all already know that we kind of we we didn't already fallen in love with with BTS just in general. Oh, a lot of these K-pop artists, we just we love them, bro. We listen to this music outside of of reacting. So aside from just watching the videos, we definitely be bumping a lot of this stuff in our cars. But I feel like. Um, you guys always used to tell us look at the lyrics look at the lyrics look at the lyrics look at the lyrics i'm like all right man you want us to look at the lyrics it's a little hard trying to watch a music video and look at the lyrics but for the chances that we do get to only focus specifically on the lyrics i can honestly say just for the lyrics alone is definitely something that is like it just reels you in even more it's like jimin already has this style and this sound and this voice and this talent that already draws you in. But when you look at the lyrics, the fact that they can actually explain something to, cause I was literally, I swear to you not, like I was literally trying to go through this whole song, reading the lyrics and try to get what he was talking about. And I'm gonna try my best to really explain. Um, but I felt like he was basically trying to tell this person that, hey, look, I can be whoever you need me to be. You know, I can do, I can switch it up basically I, I want to use the word filter of course the name of the song but it was basically like i can change my palette up be who you need me to be switch up uh, switch things around to where i'm perfect and now you can't get away from me um i felt like that's what i kind of got in the song it's like i could really you know take an ordinary day make it a, a completely you know thrill packed day but just it, it's custom to what you want at the same time but it's like you gotta filter that out i want to say i'm trying to throw the word in there but i just feel like that's what the overall meaning to me meant but just hearing that and at, like it was like we were on a journey to figure out what the song was taught at least for me i felt like we were, i was on a journey to figure out uh, sp specifically what the song was talking about and towards the end i, I, I kind of get it now it's kind of like he's trying to adapt to whoever this person is to let them know that they're trying to i can be who you need me to be you just have to let me know like i have so many different versions different shades of one person but it's whatever you want you know i can take an ordinary day and make it or boring day and make it fun mm. but when i got when we i got that it was like all right cool it's like all right now it's like you can it's like i'm rocking out we're rocking out with the song already anyway but i'm rocking out with it even more just the fact that i kind of i went through a whole journey from the beginning to the end to figure mm. out what this song meant and i just felt for that alone bro it just makes me want to do more Jim and songs bts if everybody's like this which i know that they are everybody's got some type of meaning some type of lyricism behind words and and just certain things that should they mean that you would probably never know like this probably even has a deeper meaning mm -hmm. but for what i understood or what i thought i understood fire alone bro like that's that's dope to me so i i, I can i can honestly appreciate the fact that these songs always add variety it's mm -hmm. like I feel like you get something different not not that too and just necessarily what i mean is like this song gave me very salsa like mm -hmm. you, like you at like a mexican restaurant or something like that and you like salsa with somebody or something mm -hmm. like that and i got that with this song and i i enjoyed it i also enjoyed the way jimmy kind of had to play on words with filter and, mm -hmm. and i always like like i said before in the the last video i love when we can touch on something that I like as far as the song, and we can keep revisiting that throughout the song. Like, oh, uh, duh, duh, duh. They just kept Little going. La vida loca. I mean, you would think. I mean, still, <laughs> like I said, the salsa, the way it sounded, how salsa it gave to me. Like, uh, but I just said, like, I, I liked it, man. I enjoyed it. Like I said, I feel you like. you want to indulge in a salsa just me and you, like, after this? Yo, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. But nah, honestly, I, that's a hell no. But honestly, um, <laughs> Like I said, I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed, like I said, <laughs> I enjoyed Gemma's play on words, and I can agree with uh, Caden as far as you know the the way it seemed like it was. He was trying to provide or say he was gonna give you like new styles of himself as far as you know, saying now like he's done all this. Now I'm your brand new filter, like you mm -hmm. know, like as far as like going throughout the song saying filter, but there's like at the end he's like i'm like i've created like now i'm your brand new filter as far as like i'm the brand new version of what you whatever you want me to be so i thought that was it was cool man yeah, yeah. it's like a chameleon yeah i can adapt to what you need me to you or, just gotta show me the color or a filter that's that's just a that's a filter <laughs> <laughs> a filter <bitch. laughs>
But no, guys, I think that wraps it up with this video. We're going to go ahead and get on out of here. As usual, guys, thank you again for another reaction request. Once again, my name is Coke. It's your boy, Kaden. And that's Skulk Pack Reacts. I'm your filter. <laughs>